Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thank you for watching us tonight. General Electric, NBC News, and President Obama. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. As you may know, NBC News has emerged as the most pro-Obama TV news operation in the country. Its cable news operation openly shills for the president and did so during the election. And when some CNBC financial commentators began criticizing Mr. Obama, General Electric CEO Jeff Immelt and NBC President Jeff Zucker went over to CNBC in New Jersey. Jersey in person to deal with the situation. GE owns NBC. Well, since that time, very little criticism of the president has been heard on CNBC. Perhaps, ladies and gentlemen, it is just a coincidence. On April 23rd, I reported that GE is heavily investing in green technology. And if the carbon tax is passed by Congress, GE will try to get billions of dollars in contracts in the cap and trade program. Because GE is in big financial trouble, already receiving $139 billion in federal insurance to shore up its financial arm, it's now going full tilt to get even more federal dollars. According to reporting by Andrew Wilkow, a serious radio host, GE is banking on government-mandated computerized health records. If that passes, GE's technology could be used, earning the company billions. To make that happen, GE has appointed former Senator Tom Daschle to its health advisory board. Daschle, you may remember, was President Obama's choice as Secretary of Health and Human Services until a tax scandal derailed him. But there's no question Daschle has big-time connections to the Obama White House. We asked the senator for an interview. So far, he is ducking us. So obviously, there is a huge, huge conflict of interest here. NBC News in the tank for Obama, even as its parent company is trying to secure billions from the feds. If you don't believe me, listen to Obama advisor Kareem Dale. At the White House, as we always like to say, we love MSNBC. And why not? A fascinating footnote. Neither NBC News nor GE is hiding any of this. In a public relations video, the cards are laid right on the table. Jeff Immelt himself was very committed to a broader set of issues affecting energy policy, greenhouse gas emissions, climate change, etc. Eco-imagination is a business imperative for GE. They have to get these contracts. So, it is no accident that NBC News is promoting government-run health care, as well as President Obama's policies in general. Now, if this were any other industry, anything else, there'd be a federal investigation. But the press is largely above the law. There's no oversight on the press at all. We can do pretty much what we want to do. Summing up, a major American news operation, NBC, giving favorable coverage to a president, while its parent company stands to profit dramatically if Mr. Obama's agenda succeeds. Corrupt? You make the call.